My 4G on iPhone 11 is good enough. To see, look, 182 download and 207 upload. 4G goes up to around 100 megabytes per second. Also, it says that you're connected to your Wi-Fi in the top right, you donut. <laughs> you absolute donut. You're trying to pull the wool over our eyes. You're not going to get away with this one. Sorry, I know I meant to be focusing on how this person is lying and they're getting called out on it, <laughs> but I would kill for a 207 upload speed. My upload speed on a good day is 15. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even joking. And I'm a YouTuber. I don't know how I do it. Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Quit your BS. That's what we're checking out today. I love this subreddit. It's just addictive in a weird way. There's something about reading about people getting called out on their lies that I really like. <laughs> I don't know if that's unhealthy, but I'm just being transparent, okay? It is what it is. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. I hope you did have a great day. I'm going awesome. I had a good day. It's 8 o'clock at night right now. For some reason, night times have become like my good time to film. It's been taking me like all day to wake up. <laughs> By the time I'm actually awake and full of energy, it's like 8 o'clock at night. So, dude, here we are. I wouldn't have it any other way. This is an awesome job. And yeah, in saying that, thank you for all the support recently, guys. We're closing in on 30,000 subscribers so quickly. We're at like 26.3 or something. It's all just so exciting. Like, I can't believe it. And yeah, thank you for being here. Let's check out some people that are getting called out on their BS. Look at my awesome giant lion in Minecraft. Yeah, that's not your lion, all right. Not some screenshot I can find on Google by searching Minecraft lion. The version of Minecraft is off too, along with the image quality. No, dude, it's absolutely my lion that I made. What, don't you like it? Just because it's Minecraft Beta 15, using an outdated version of Minecraft? Like, dude, no. I just made this lion, you know? It's just a coincidence. It looks so much like all the other ones you search on Google, but I promise you, it isn't. My little brother Logan had his first seizure-free day in many, many months. Here are some pictures of him and his twin celebrating. You do realize we can see your pathological liar post where you state you like to lie about having a brother right please find a new hobby or therapy if you look at the recent ones it's explained now the post is deleted gee that's weird oh my god they even talked about on their subreddit how they like to lie about having a brother and then they put a post up about their brother that isn't their brother <laughs> that's awful yeah please find a new hobby or therapy that's so messed up using a kid that you don't even know to bring attention to yourself does that make you feel good <laughs> that's terrible dude I can't believe they allow this in Spongebob. Squidward said I could help by burying myself. Please tell me that's your nose. Seven-year-old me watching. 21-year-old me watching. Yeah, that line never happened. Yeah, I didn't think it did. I've seen that episode a few times and I couldn't remember that. Why would you ever think you'd get away with that? I don't understand the thought process. It's like the Minecraft kid at the start. You can do a reverse image search and find out immediately <laughs> that that's not your picture. You're not going to get away with this. And dude, you really crossed a line <laughs> when you brought Spongebob into this. Oh, one star. They have really poor management. Dear whoever you are, I note that you have not responded to my request to make contact so that we could actually understand your concern and a review of your internal records shows you did not make an internal complaint. Our records indicate that you were a volunteer student with us who was found smoking during your shift rather than attending to your duties. <laughs> oh, no, nah, one star. Poor management. <laughs> That's really funny and all, but they might have actually still had poor management. <laughs> I don't know. My my friend's a teacher to the student who keeps taping hot Cheetos to things in my classroom. Why? I've seen this exact post for months now. Your friend is not a teacher. <laughs> Dude, look at this quirky viral post. Oh my god, I'm gonna get heaps of internet points. Is that the only reason they can do it so they can get likes? I don't understand. It's just all for attention, isn't it? Oh, there you go. I guess I do understand. Here's the story. These chairs were laid out for a wedding in 1939 in Poland. The wedding was abandoned and so were the chairs due to the German invasion. They were found again after after the war with the trees growing through them, every single year they are repainted. Yeah, this is actually an art piece in Belgium. <laughs> I don't understand lying about stuff for attention, but I especially don't understand lying about history for attention. If it didn't happen, people are going to call you up on it and you should be prepared for that. These chairs were laid out in 1939 for a wedding in Poland. No, they weren't. <laughs> Do you think that people haven't seen these before? Misinformation everywhere. You actually can't read anything online. And like, 
I follow a whole bunch of history pages on Instagram because it's really interesting. And now they might not even be telling the truth. One star, I ordered a waffle to find a fingernail and a hair on my food. Absolutely shocking customer service. As I was told I would have to wait another hour to get a fresh one. I even asked for a refund but never received one. I wouldn't send my worst enemy here. Response from the owner. Our restaurant is not open yet, so this is impossible. We opened May the 12th just in case anyone thinks this is remotely true. That's so, that's so sad. Dude, and I don't like anybody who does stuff like that. Seriously, you've got to be pretty awful to leave bad reviews on places that you've never been to. <laughs> like, dude, get a life. I couldn't even imagine being so bitter and angry and like just, I don't even know, to the point where you think it would be fun to go and leave bad fake reviews on restaurants pages. A restaurant would be really bloody hard to run just the way it is. They don't need stuff like this. Hey, Starbucks, instead of hiring 10,000 refugees, how about hiring 10,000 veterans? We're actually very committed to hiring veterans Mark, we set a goal to hire 10,000 by 2018 and we've already hired 8,800. Yeah, shut up, Mark. <laughs> Dude, these guys are rubbing their hands together like, oh yeah, I'm going to cause drama. No, you're not because you're wrong. <laughs> the last image I have of my grandpa is a cozy one. He passed away after New Year's. Oh, this is a great picture of him. No, it's my grandpa. This person stole my pic. He's alive and well and here's a link. <laughs> like in the last video, who would actually pretend that somebody else is their grandpa just so they can get some likes oh god and then what you know this isn't worth it on one hand you have useless upvotes and on the other hand you have self-respect <laughs> which one do you want someone has hit me from behind in the car park i'm so freaking pissed off that was you this morning you reversed into the brick wall there's bits all over the pavement <laughs> come on you obviously didn't hide the evidence very well i just does not want to admit that they did it so it's like oh my god <laughs> i just broke my tail light who the hell did this to me i'm so angry <laughs> when you literally just broke it. <laughs> no, that couldn't be me. Oh my god, this secret is between you and me. I'm never getting vaccinated again. I thought anti-vaxxers were stupid, but it seems I'm the stupid one. Hashtag anti-vax. That's a picture of caked on mud that you ripped straight from the internet. <laughs> dude, I want to call someone out on something like that. That'd be so funny. Oh my god, I'm Geo dude. <laughs> or like that big rock guy from Fantastic Four. I got vaccinated and now I'm turning to stone. My skin's falling off. In this case, how do you think you can get away with that? It's so weird. They obviously don't think about it very long. I met Zed's wife in the bathroom at dinner and she is the nicest person. Have a great night. I have a wife? I didn't know. Can I meet her too? Who is this wife you're talking about? That's weird because if I did have a wife, I feel like I would have known about it. Hold on. Something's not quite right here. Dude, one star. Avoid this horrible place. Served the wrong plate. Insisted we pay 85% because we touched the plate. Okay, and here's the owner. Sorry for the experience. The truth truth is that you noticed the waitress you got a wrong plate when you almost finished it and we charged you 50% the price of the plate. You also refused. We bring you the right plate. We have the video record and the receipt. Dude, you're not getting away with this, bro. Nice try. This really can't make you feel very good about yourself. I feel like you have to be pretty angry and like just bitter to do something like that. It's really funny when they get called out on it, but what about all the people who do this and don't get called out? You know, like <laughs> we need less of that. I was wondering why the pizza had a slice missing but then I looked at the box. Ha 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 ha. You know, that's quite strange. I've gotten those Kroger pizzas many times and not once had a piece missing like that. Also, I see your pizza cutter is already out. Dude, what are you talking about? No, I wouldn't fake something like this. It was obviously made this way. I can imagine that post getting shared on Facebook. You know, getting a few shares, getting a few likes. Is that the point of this? Like, who cares? <laughs> Why would you make this stuff up? Because all of these are like really dumb lies. Or like most of them are. Like stuff like this. Like, who cares? Do they just want to be interesting like they're just bored and they're like oh dude that'd be funny i honestly have no idea one star this is really bad i beat the game it is so glitchy bad graphics and lousy voicing no i do not recommend this product you couldn't have beaten the game it's not even released more of these sorts of people that just want to leave bad reviews you do realize that there are people on the other ends of these don't you do you know that and you're just a crappy person or do you just think this is funny because it's not some people want to complain so badly even when there's even when it's not even possible for him to complain. They'll still find a way. God, this value soap doesn't let you reach the value. Dude, that's a refill bottle. I don't think it's meant to have a pump on it. Yeah, I'm assuming they put another soft soap pump onto the refill bottle. Yeah, I have literally the same soap and for me it has a clear pump so yeah. <laughs> nice try! <laughs> and that's on the A-hole design subreddit. Dude, everything in my house is designed so well. I gotta fake something to be bad. That's not how it works, okay? And like, what a thing to make up too. You're like, oh yeah, this could get 
30,000 likes on Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And five seconds later, people are like, yeah, that's fake. <laughs> oh, I didn't get away with it for very long. Tell me something I don't know. What, you thought I'd never find out that you're using my picture? Using a picture of someone else and pretending that that's you is so weird. Are you trying to be this person? You're trying to live through this person? You obviously want people to think that you are her. And what happens when you actually meet someone and they think that's what you look like? Dude, these people have issues to sort out. I guess just take it as a compliment. But the person who did that, don't do that. <laughs> sort it out, come on. Nice store, too bad half the employees are unmasked. And the same for ignorant, inconsiderate customers. When asked about this, a checkout lady told me she had a health condition. Well, evidently half the healthy looking employees do as well. What a joke, not going back. I'm not sure what store you're referring to. We are only an online company and have no physical locations. <laughs> oh, good Lord. That's hilarious. Nice try, moron. <laughs> I bet you these sorts of people just go around and copy and paste this on lots of people's pages. If you know somebody that just likes to create drama for no reason, dude, <laughs> get them out of your life. Things I've learned from working at Louis Vuitton, the day before Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, and on those days, many men bring their wives and buy them things. Often the bill is in the thousands. They buy anything they wish. Yet on Father's Day and Valentine's Day, I've never seen a woman buy anything for her father or partner. Wait a second, in another comment you say that you're 15? Which is it? Dude, Louis Vuitton is not hiring 15 year olds. <laughs> no, you're not. And you have this agenda you're trying to push here. You're trying to create an argument. And it's not going to happen. Quit your BS. I'm going to leave today's video here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video or it made you laugh or it kept you entertained, you got to pay the fee. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Only if you want to, of course. I don't mind. You guys just watching my videos means the world to me. I love this subreddit. It's fun every single time. Every time you want to lose faith in humanity, just go on here. Today's comment of the day goes to Misky02. Hello, Wincy Senpai. Ooh, ooh. Smiles cutely. I, I just want to say that you're awesome. Ooh, ooh. Flick's cat is. Please send me past W. Keep going. Ooh, ooh. Bye, bye Wincy Senpai. <laughs> oh, God. You guys are the best. That one's from my Creepy Asterix video. You guys are so funny. Thank you so much for being here and thanks for the creepy and funny comments. Guys, as always, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and join the Discord server if you haven't already and have a lovely day, have a lovely night and I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new videos. I'll see you then.